Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Malaysian Boy Channel. So on today's video, we're going to talk about DJI Spark. There's a couple things that you need to know about DJI Spark, which is today I'm going to tell you guys literally about calibrate compass. Like how do you, you know, when is actually you need to calibrate your compass and why do you need to calibrate your compass. And also I'm going to tell you guys uh, basically about GPS mode, what it actually does into your DJI Spark. And also we're going to talk about the AT mode. So this is the three only things that I just want to tell you guys that my main concern before you even fly the drone. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Alright, so the first thing that we're going to talk today is about why do you need to calibrate your compass. It is very simple. Alright, so basically um, the question why. So alright, so because... If you buy a drone, you know, from any shop, so you buy a drone, so the drone itself never ever calibrate their compass. So basically, this drone is been shipping all the way in this world, you know, be shipping, be put on the plane and all the way export to the uh, another country. So that's why it is very important for you to calibrate your compass and then to make sure when you calibrate your compass, you have to go away from any magnetic interfere, which is your, it could be your laptop, it could be a speaker in your house, or it could be your TV as well. So anything that literally you could think of has magnetic interfere, you have to avoid doing your calibrate compass near to this kind of environment. So I highly, I uh, recommend that you go like somewhere else which is uh, far away from this uh, kind of magnetic interfere and then do your calibrate compass. So once you calibrate your compass, it will be perfect. And the next thing that you have to know, when do you need to calibrate your compass? Alright, so I'm just going to tell you guys right here, right now. Alright, so the most important thing is when do you need to calibrate a compass? Very simple guys. So if you buy a drone and then the drone is first time to fly never been you know open or never been fly so you have to calibrate the compass it is because everything has been shipped all the, around the world so the drone itself never have any compass so they don't know where they are they are confused they are like oh my god where i am now i've been shipping all the way in this world so you need to calibrate your compass. It is very important to know your map or your surrounding and also the place that you going to fly the drone. So the thing is like when do you calibrate your compass, as I said before, you have to go away from any magnetic interfere. That is very, very important. And then you just follow the rules and how to uh, calibrate your uh, compass, move your drone upside down, left and right, and turning, stuff like that. And also, the only thing that you need to calibrate your compass in is when you go away from somewhere. It's like you go abroad to another country, like me, myself, I give example. I got a drone in Belgium, so basically the drone in Belgium. So I calibrate once and that is enough. So if I go to another city which is in Belgium, like last time I went to Ghent, so I don't have to calibrate my compass because I calibrate my compass once in Belgium, in that particular country. So if you go somewhere else, if you go abroad in any other country, then you need to calibrate your compass because your drone need to know where they are exactly so then they can map it and they can, you know, they know where they, uh, they can fly and all the stuff. That's why, and this is like one of the things that you can avoid actually from drone to fly away or maybe like drifting away from you. One of the reason is you have to calibrate your compass and know how and when to calibrate your compass. And if you ever get an alert in your software and your phone saying that, okay, you have to calibrate compass, meaning that you are very close to any magnetic interfere surrounding you. You know, if you got an alert saying that, okay, you need to calibrate a compass, you need to calibrate a compass, and then make sure you just go away, just being away from that area which is give you an alert. I bet like maybe 50 or 60% saying like, okay, you don't have to calibrate a compass once you move away from that area. Because sometimes when your drone is uh, catching the uh, magnetic interfere, 
and then they will pop up saying that okay you you had to calibrate a compass and then you calibrate a compass then and then so my advice if you ever got a pop up message and saying that you have to calibrate your compass just move away from that area and move from another area uh, which is safe and then no magnet interfere and the message will be automatically gone because there's no interfere at all after that all right so the next one that we're going to talk about is uh, AT mode what is actually AT mode does and ATTI mode does so most of the people uh, sometimes when they fly the drone uh, and then when they took off the drone and the drone is still in GPS mode and then suddenly like when they fly like far away from them and then suddenly the drone change automatically to Etimo and then you'll be like panicking like oh my god what I'm supposed to do what I'm supposed to do so my advice you don't have to panic I'm just gonna tell you guys what is actually Etimo does into your drone so basically Etimo it's a manually mode so what I'm trying to say here is like if you're flying your aircraft in anti mode, you are taking care of fully in charge of that drone from takeoff and landing. So means that I will give you an example. If you're flying an aeroplane and let's say the aeroplane have to take off and landing manually, so that's what they call uh you know like manual pilot. So means that you have to you know pull the handles and then push the handles for landings everything everything basically manually so it same goes to drone as well so if you fly a drone in anti mode you have to take the drone by your own self and then land it by your own self don't panic if let's say you got gps signals and then after far away suddenly change to anti mode don't panicking because you know basically it just turns to manual mode which is you have to take your drone by your own self so if you press the return home button it will uh, it will not work for you because it's already in AT mode AT mode has no satellite at all so everything is fully in charge by yourself and it's your finger so make sure my advice if you suddenly uh, fly a drone and then change to AT mode take your drone near to you and then just fly near to you if anything happen like maybe a strong wind gust wind you can take the drone easily uh for you so it will not drifting away because you know no gps signal it is very high risk to fly a drone uh, and then suddenly your drone could be fly away sometimes so at mode I'm telling you guys don't panic that is basically manually mode that you have to take control of your drone uh, all the time so once you fly just fly and then take it back to you you have to land safely on your side all right so the second one that I'm going to talk with you guys today is about GPS so GPS basically there is a satellite mode if it's at the mode has no satellite so GPS is actually with satellite so you connect it to satellite and you actually uh, put on everything on your flight written to home button and basically everything and you got all the signals and the pop-up message in your software because you connect to GPS and GPS to satellite and the satellite you know all around the world you basically know uh, you know the map and everything so what is it actually GPS does when it's connected to a uh, satellite so it connected to your software and you can set the return to home button so when you fly away and then suddenly you disconnect it from your controller to your drone so you don't have to panic because uh, you know it's just automatically will come to you because you already set the return home button that is function of GPS it is very important when you fly the drone you have to set up your drone to return to home button and then set make sure before you fly connected to GPS at, at least for like 16 or maybe 12 percent uh, satellite uh, GPS connection um, it is very important if let's say we uh, talk about Etty when you're flying and then maybe it is connected from controller to drone you have to take the drone itself uh, with your fully control you know so it could be hard sometimes when you fly like far away so you have to really look at at the map so the only uh, things that you rely on is on the map so in GPS mode it's very simple when you set up so if you fly miles away like maybe thousand miles away so you can take your drone back to you safely just press the return to home button it is very simple if let's say I'll give you an example here if you fly in an aer uh, in aeroplanes and let's say for takeoff landing so you just have to put autopilot and then the 
aeroplane will take off and landing safely for you so that same goes in uh, the drone as well so make sure gps it is very important you can take your drone safely back to you um, without losing them or without drifting away or maybe fly away so this is like basically a couple of things that you really need to know before you even fly a drone all right so that's all for today's video um basically i'm telling you guys all about the drones because uh this is basically like things that i set up uh for my drone so before i fly the drone i'll make sure my gps is on and i'll check the um you know the percentage and like how much uh, gps connection that i got so normally uh basically around like uh, 14 or 16 or maybe uh 12 12 is just nice just perfect so if you got like this kind of connection very strong gps so you are easy to go and you don't have to worry as long as you connect to the gps and then you can take back your drone that's all matter so i know there's a lot of people maybe like worrying when they fly the drone in the city because they're scared there's too many interfere there's too many you know stuff like that can actually damage your drone so if you know to do like the pre-flight check for your drone before you even fly the drone so it should be no problem you don't have to worry about anything the main thing that you know you have to worry it is um when your controller disconnected from your drone so that is the only thing that you have to consider because you uh, should know like uh, how to take back your drones when it's fly away or when it's like drifting away maybe there's strong wind or gust wind it should be no problem you will be excellent flying drones so that's all for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed this video it's not too much but just gonna tell you guys uh literally this is basic thing before you even fly the drone so i don't want you guys to worry about flying your drones or you're like oh my god i'm really scared to fly my drone far away because i'm scared it's gonna be like fly away so you don't have to worry as long as you do all this check so i just want to say you guys thank you so much for watching this video and then uh you know fly safe do whatever you want in this life be yourself uh, just be happy um i hope i'll see you guys on the next one